Hello, my dear students. It's good to see you back. I'm sure you must have enjoyed the holidays and also revised the lessons. So, till now, we have studied five chapters in all. We have studied first two chapters of history, then we have done first two chapters in geography, and first chapter of social and political life. Now we'll start the third chapter of history, that is the Delhi Sultanate. Before starting the third chapter, let us have a quick recap of the first two chapters so that we can relate it with this chapter. So the very first chapter was about the medieval period. There, there we noticed that medieval period in India saw far-reaching changes in all fields, that is political, social, cultural, and economic. We learnt about various sources of information for the medieval history like inscriptions, coins, monuments, buildings, paintings and literally in evidence. Then in the second chapter we studied about the dynasties that ruled the medieval period. They were the Rajputs. Then there were the Palas of Bengal. We also talked of Turkish invasion and the kingdoms of Deccan and South India. So as in the last chapter we have seen that the Muslim rule in India was established by Muhammad Ghori in the 12th century. Muhammad Ghori was a Turkish ruler. At that time, Muhammad Ghori was helped by his general Qutbuddin Ebuk. Qutbuddin Ebuk was appointed as a viceroy by Ghori. Viceroy is an official who rents a colony, city or province in the name of monarch of territory. Please note it down in your books. As Muhammad Ghori had no descendant and he died in 1206 CE, his viceroys declared themselves as the independent ruler of the region they used to govern. Qutbuddin Abak claimed Punjab, Sindh, the Indo-Gangetic Plains and present-day Bihar and Bengal. His capital was at Delhi. The accession of Delhi by Qutbuddin Abak began the history of Delhi Sultanate in India. Here, assassin mean, meant attainment of a position of rank or power. Here, please note it down in your book that assassin meant attainment of a position of rank or power. The period of Delhi Sultanate lasted for more than 300 years from 1206 to 1526 CE. This rule is known as Delhi Sultanate because the rulers during this period called themselves Sultans. There were five dynasties that ruled over northern India during the region of Delhi Sultans. They were successive dynasties, that is, they ruled one after the other. They, they were the slave dynasty, the Khaljis, the Tughlaqs, then the Sayyids and the Lodis. Today, we will keep this much. In our further classes, we will study in detail about these dynasties. Thank you and have a good day.